Stories from Tuesday's mass shooting at the Texas Elementary School are difficult. They're difficult to watch. They're difficult to hear about for adults and especially for children. And you probably know that if you're a parent and have had to have these difficult conversations with your kids. How do you talk to your children is the question. We want to give you some help with that. This morning we have some tips from a mental health expert, Dr. Darren jo Jones joining us. He's the director of behavioral health from Beaumont. Good morning. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Jones. Thank you for having me. So what conversations, you know, kids obviously are hearing about this. What, what should parents be saying, looking out for? I mean, kids are going to school every day knowing that this happened at another school. Well, obviously, it's, it's completely normal uh, for both adults and children to be having some very strong emotional reactions uh, to what's going on, including feeling very anxious, uh, being very scared. So it's, it's important for us to normalize that uh, reaction uh, in ourselves uh, and, in our, and in our children. Uh, and it's important for parents to really role model uh, that behavior uh, for our children and to uh, open the door to you know, that conversation with them and uh, ask them directly how they're feeling about it. Ask them open-ended questions. You know, how are you feeling about what happened? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? What have you heard? And so that's the beginning of it, is to check in with them and be able to uh, initiate that conversation. I think some parents are perhaps understandably uh, a little concerned to do that, but it's very important to, uh, to do that. So what if your kids say, I'm terrified, I'm afraid to go to school? What, what should well, you then do? Well, and again, that's a completely normal reaction uh, that I think many, if not most of us, are having, both adults and children. So I think it's really important to validate their concerns, but it's also important to help them understand that uh, parents, their caregivers, their teachers, the staff at the schools, law enforcement officials are all doing a lot of work to make the schools as safe as possible. And you could even talk with your uh, child about plans that the school has in place uh, and to reinforce those procedures, help them make sure they understand if, if they were to be afraid, who could they talk to, who would be an adult they could go to, uh, and how that, that would work at home as well. So that can sometimes help this, the child feel uh, more safe and secure. But what about the parents? You know, parents are, are scared. I mean, we are seeing this happen across the country, and it, we're learning now it can happen anywhere. So we have many parents that are sending their kids to school every single day that have that anxiety and fear too. What, what, what's your advice for them? Well, as a parent myself, I, I share those feelings. And, uh, and I think that um, it, the, the reality is that we're, we're going to get through this, this horrific um, national tragedy the way that we, our community and our nation has always gotten through uh, adversity, which is we're going to get through it by taking care of each other. But in order to take care of each other, we have to take care of ourselves. And so that includes really making sure that we all reach out for the support that we need uh, to our family, to our friends, coworkers, people in the community and so forth, um, as well as not just reaching out, but being able to give that social support to other people as well. So that's a really important part of it. And really focusing on just the basics. We're all going through a type of stress reaction. And during a stress reaction, it's really important to keep the very basic psychological and physiological uh, type of needs in mind. I know that's difficult, but it's really important for us to focus on that and make sure that we take care of ourselves and that we're there for each other. And have that network of support surrounding around you. Dr. Jones, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate you joining it's us. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.